we're going to go on to our topic today. Okay. And it was actually something you talked about and something someone else talked about mm -hmm. as far as like faith, right? Mm -hmm. and so this is my preference. This is my question. Like, what's the time in your life <clears throat> to where you kept trying at something and it didn't work? Um... I can't be trying at something that didn't work. Mm -hmm. I would say probably. Okay, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. go ahead. No, go ahead. Trust me, go ahead. I was gonna add something else on there, but it's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Um, and it didn't you can work. only imagine what it's like when it's time to pick something to eat. <laughs> Seems to throw me under the bus. Okay. Um. Oh, you, you said you know how you be getting when it's time to get something to eat. You ask me what I want, and then I give you a suggestion. You like, I don't want that, and I say pick something. And you like, uh, I don't know. So that was a... I always have to answer this question. <laughs> Just saying, don't be acting. Okay, go ahead. You right? Go ahead. My fault. My fault. Go ahead. You. I need you to read. I need you. To read. All right. So the question is, what's something that you've tried at multiple times and it just what What was the plan of yours that you tried at and it just didn't work? I would say a past relationship. Um, are you referring to it can mean anything. just anything? Yeah, or? it can mean anything. Oh, I would say when a, a previous relationship I was in, I kept trying and trying and trying and trying. And it seemed like it would get better. And then it would just like blow up. And then it would get better. And then it would just like blow up. Mm -hmm. And then I really had to like really pray about that situation. Because I was like, I don't want to keep going back and forth with someone. I want to be able to build something with someone. And if that person is not looking at it the way that I look at it. And their 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 relationship with God was not the same. Their um, their lifestyle was not the same as mine. And nothing. It seemed like every time I tried it, it failed. And so I really just had to pray about that situation. I had to ask God what to do about that situation, and basically let that person go. And even though it hurt so bad, it allowed so many. After I let that relationship go, and just kind of prayed for healing of my heart and everything. It was like so many things fell into place after I let that thing go. Really? Mm hmm That's that's crazy. That's oh you gotta you really answered that question. You must have read my notes. I did not. <laughs> 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 we know we are right, so we so we talk about faith uh, and and how important I didn't even it know is. Talking about that. And how well, I said well you know now and how important <laughs> it is um, in our life because you said earlier about the power of faith right? Yeah. And for me I look at it like the simplicity of faith is mm -hmm. in its power or well, the power is in the simplicity in a sense mm -hmm. because you do the thing that you don't know exists mm -hmm. right and you have confidence in it right? right but then what about but it's funny because we have those situations in our life to in our life to where we do the thing we see exists and mm -hmm. it doesn't work right and that's what happened with my situation mm -hmm. because it was like god was like end it and I was like no and I kept trying to make it work because I was like oh this person's gonna be my husband we're gonna get married mm -hmm. and all this stuff and then I was like and in my mind it was like I knew it wasn't gonna work and I really had to I really just had to let's let it go mm -hmm. and the, the I had to let it go I had to change my phone number I had to delete any contact that I've had with him like whether it was email, text messages, whatever it was, I had to basically delete that person out of my life completely. And that's exactly what I did. I deleted that person out of my life completely and changed my phone number because I didn't want that person calling me. And I knew that if I did that and if I really listened and followed what God told me to do, then my life would, would show through that decision. And things would start happening for me through that, de that decision. And that's what I did. And I remember one time after I did all this, mind you, I was at church and it was women's, um, what was it called? Women's, the women's conference, the women's conference. And the pastor that came from New Jersey, after I had did all this, told me to come to the front. Mm -hmm. And she said, say, I'm back. And I didn't know what she was talking about. I'm like, I did. And she told me to come to the front and say, I'm back. And she made me stand up there the whole time. And that was like... That, I guess that was God letting me know I made the right decision. So what did you see after that? 
like so many great things just started happening. I started, um, I think I had a promotion at my job. I ended up um, just after I did that, the, the time after that, I spent basically just myself. I didn't date. I didn't try to go on dates. I didn't do anything. I spent those years just focusing on my college degree, on my um, my writing skills, just focusing on me. And I live by myself, so it was just me and God. That's dope. Then it's interesting because I was having a conversation with a friend of mine last night. Mm -hmm. And he was saying how he was in that kind of same position to where, you know, you, you hit this wall. You, you have these plans of yours that you want. Mm -hmm. And so you, you go at them and you just keep hitting these walls. And you're like, man, why is this just not working? Mm -hmm. And he was actually saying how he ended up praying about it. And, you know, God was like, well... That's because, you know, it's, it's you, you know, you're working your plan situation. Right. And he was saying, you know, it, it really kind of, he said God punched him in the stomach. It with did. It. It's like, it was definitely like that because after it was like, I think this was the same week that that happened. And then we had that conference that Thursday and Friday night. And I think she came that thir that Friday and I was sitting. Why you say that? Let me, you just made me think of something. There's a verse. So I'm a, right I said, why? I said, why did you do that? <laughs> But I was just saying that when she called me up to the front. I can know. I know it though. Go ahead. <clears throat> when she called me up, when the, I forgot her name though. I wish I remember her name. She called me up to the front. I don't know this lady. She don't know me. And she was like, I need you to do something for me. And I was like, what? And she was like, just say I'm back. And I was like, I'm back. She was like, no, I need you to scream it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm back. And she was like, no, you need to. And she held my hand and would not let me move. And I'm sure if any of my people from church are watching, they probably remember that time. Because they, because I had talked to a few of them about the situation. And she called me up there and she made me stand up there, I think, until she finished her message. Did and it? after she finished, she made me scream it again. Okay. See? So this, this takes me to what I was trying to. There's a verse. There's a verse, actually, that says... Um, God, he said, the, the, <clears throat> the road of the righteous is a highway. Mm -hmm. And I, I, it was so interesting That's for it. It's so interesting for me because, you know, your whole life you hear the road of destruction is wide. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's and the road of righteousness is, high, is narrow. But it was when I saw that verse, that was the first time that I ever pictured doing being doing righteous from God's eyes mm -hmm. and living and and doing the plan that he has as this vast thing mm -hmm. and you can move at a high pace on that road right right and <laughs> because at the time like when we want to do something <clears throat> bad it's something like we just want to do like right like it's just something like we and just some, it seems do. like something always happens to where you can't do it which that or it or happens and then something just like probably backfires down the road. Right. Or either you do it and God said because you did it, I'm going to block what I was going to do for you a year. So now yeah, you're see, not people don't realize that jump happens. He he gonna do that, that jump. He gonna <laughs> do that jump for real. And so that's he what I'm saying. He blocks it for like a year, <laughs> depending on what you. I mean, it's God's decision. But from situations that I've encountered. God has definitely said, okay, you want to do, okay, all right, I'm going to block this from you so you can't get it. And then I'd be like, why won't this happen? And then like a year later, I'm like, okay, maybe if I try it now, because I haven't did what I did, mm -hmm. for God to block the blessings. And then it all actually happens. So I'm like, okay, Jesus, really? See, and, and that's really what I'm saying. The, 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 you're talking about, when you talk about the power of faith, like how strong it is to where if you, if you believe, if you do the thing that you haven't seen. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, for example, I heard this guy say something that was really interesting. And I had to really look, think about it for a moment. But he says, you shouldn't have role models. Mm -hmm. He was explaining because for a person in his position, he had never seen. And which reminds me, we did not do. Yeah. <laughs> but he, he had never mm -hmm. seen a black physicist before. Mm-hmm. So he said, so how can I have a role model if I've never seen it before? Right. And it's interesting because the Bible says faith um, is the evidence of things hoped for. Mm -hmm. 
So you hope to be something that you haven't seen. Mm-hmm. You know, but <laughs> I did low key burp just now. Uh, and then you went, you're placed in a situation to where when you start doing the thing that's never been, that you can't see or you have never seen, it worked. Like it's a bad relationship, right? You don't, you, you hear of a good relationship, but you haven't. Ex- There's a difference between seeing in a, a good relationship and experiencing and seeing a good relationship. So right. in that situation, you didn't, you was experiencing a somewhat good relationship right right but it was toxic right so then when you leave it it's like okay then you can prepare yourself to get ready for me (laughs) well that's exactly (laughs) what happened because i mean (laughs) got the wink and the gun he got the job i mean that's what (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> but but truthfully though like and you said you prepared happens. yourself and that's what i tell that's what i tell people that always ask me well how did i how did i do that because it was what three years three years not dating anyone like i was you know having fun or my friends or whatever but i wasn't dating anyone like it was just just me i live by myself i would go to work come home do what i had to do and focus on me i had my time with jesus and i would converse with people that i knew were for me and not against me and i wouldn't have conversations about things that didn't have meaning because when you have conversations with people and their conversations don't have meaning or they're just talking about other people or whatever i had to exclude myself from all of that i did not want to be included in any of it and I didn't want any of that to get into my ear to where I said, oh, well, maybe I should do this. Oh, maybe I should do that. Because I even told you about it when we started dating that people kept putting stuff in my ear. You should do this, girl. You should do that. You should do this. And I was like, no, like, you don't know what God has planned for me. And at that point, I didn't know what God had planned for me. I just knew I was going to continue doing what he told me to do until I got to that point where he gave me exactly what I was, what he was trying to bring me up and strengthen me for. See, and, and look, and this is, this is something I say, man. It's like, I said this on the show before too. If you don't view the, do, the <clears throat> plan or will of God as cool, you won't do it. And it is literally the most fun I've ever had in my life. Mm-hmm. It is one of the greatest, it is the greatest decision I've ever made because it has opened up my life, you know, so open up life, open up doors. You know, so well that's why I said life because that, and that's gonna I mean, encompass just, everything. So it's like, yeah. it's like that that high I drive. You know, being able to drive that highway, mm-hmm. you know, was really cool. And so to be able to do something that I haven't seen, that's faith. You know, as right. I'm saying, it's like the evidence of things hoped for. I hope to do A, B, and C, and so I'm doing A, B, and C. Mm-hmm. You know, you hope to be married, so you started. Spending time alone, doing, understanding, getting yourself right. together. I even to be prayed a, for my husband without knowing who that husband was going to be. See? <laughs> see? Look, come on. Come on. You're not making it as easy for me. You're not making it easy for I me. I mean, I did. But, so, so, but. Because I know how I am. So that person had to be strong enough to deal with me. So, it's, it's, it's just really cool to be able to actually see that. Like I said, even in my friend's life, when he was telling me about it. You know, that he, he felt like he kept hitting that wall. He was like, I'm doing this or I don't have the energy to do that or or maybe I want to do that. And he just said he kept hitting his wall, and hitting his wall, and hitting his wall. <clears throat> and then he was like, he, he, he just concluded in him that, OK, this isn't the plan. Right. This isn't the plan. And to be able to have God come back and talk to him like, OK, you know, you're really trying to work for your plan. Like, you mm-hmm. know. Because, like I said, I'm 27. So how can I, out of nowhere, come up with this plan for my own life? Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I have. I, how how can I do that? You may have this idea, and I said something. It's about, uh, and it's funny because you know God. They say God <clears throat> give you the snippets, mm-hmm. right? And then we go gung ho on the snippets, trying to make the snippets real. Right. But then we still don't know everything as far as to getting to those snippets. So we can even while we get the snippets and work towards the snippets. We can still be wrong in doing that because you can't if you get a snippet or an idea of your life and you try to work toward it you can't because you weren't given it's not your idea mm-hmm. so you don't even know what to do to even get to that point i just want to say i just thought that was interesting you know mm-hmm. you know, so just think about it. what's something in your life 
that you I mean people have felt like that people feel like that I felt like that mm -hmm. you felt like that like you hit this wall like man yeah. like things just aren't working exactly how I want them to uh, it's just not all job tripping right. girl tripping all this stuff right you just hitting this wall 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 maybe it's just not the plan right and that's exactly and that's a, t a matter of fact that was a tough de that was a very tough decision Tony and you know what Tony says that he, he he says that one of the things that he asks which is a hard question he said God is this in the plan that is a hard that is a hard that's question a hard question that is because a hard when you, question when you make it plain and you ask God exactly you ask him ask God that question then he's going to give you the answer yeah, and the answer may not always be flowers and butterflies it's going to be something no nah, you gotta be... nah, you gotta leave that you gotta stop talking right. to him you, gotta you need to go to this to you them. need to start reading more and then you definitely don't want to start reading more because it's going to cut into your basketball time and yeah. you're going to be tired at night and you still got to sacrifice that so it's going to be like a hard decision and it's a tough decision but it's always worth it because you do it things is. that never are done look i thought you this is true right <laughs> this is true you you did something that's never been done you know, I do things that's never been done. There's so many other people that do things that's never been done or seen, mm -hmm. you know, because we open ourselves up to the highway. So I think that's just pretty dope. Yeah. But listen, anyway, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing that story, yeah. by the way. And now, as always, thank you all for tuning in to the show. Mr. Crockett. Thank you. Hello, man. Good afternoon to you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the shares and the comments and, mm -hmm. and the likes and the shares. We appreciate you guys. We love yes. you. And we will be back next time um, here at the Joshua Bernie Morning exactly. Show. Um, oh, so I will be out of town, but we will be doing some pre-recordings. So that way you can always tune in with us on the pre-recordings as well. So be on the lookout for that. Yeah. And we'll make sure we share that on our YouTube page so you can be aware of that. On YouTube? Yeah. Um, so again, my name is Joshua Bernie, aka Joshua B, your public speaking rapper with an English degree. And I'm Octavia B, your public speaking poet with a science degree. And it's okay to drive the highway of God's plans because yeah. faith is doing things that's never been seen before. Mm -hmm. So do something this week that's never been seen before in yes. your life and in other... This week? Thanks. The week coming up. So next week. Okay, the week coming up, do things that's never been seen or experienced before. Yes. And also just pray and ask God, you're like, God, is this really in your will? Mm -hmm. And he'll tell you. And it's a tough decision, but trust me, your life will be better for it. So listen, have a great day. We love you guys. We appreciate you. Thank you all for all of our sponsors and community partners of the show. We can't we appreciate all your contributions. We love you guys. Have a great day. And we'll see you next time here at the Joshua Bernie Morning Show, Saturday afternoon edition. We appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Yeah. We Say you all good when you get kicked up, then you get picked up, then you